to understand this. <laughs> Excuse me, where is the kitchen shop? Hey, there's no kitchen shop round here, love. Just an old crab with a penchant for lamb. What did you say to me? I said there's no kitchen shop round here, love. Why, well, there's no need to shout about it. I wasn't shouting. Don't argue with me, you rude little crab. Hey, I'm not rude, love. I'm miserable. Well, you should smile more. It's easy. Go on, give us a smile. I can't smile, love. My cheeks won't allow it. It'll make you feel much better. Go on, give us a smile. No, I can't. I won't. I can't smile. How many more times do I have to tell you? I've not got the cheek muscles for smiling. Mrs... What's happened to you now? Oh, she's clogging oh, up Mrs. me. Oh, Mrs Hacker, we need you to cheer up, Krabby. Send your stories in to CBBC <laughs> at bbc.co.uk. Some are stories, some are jokes, some are pictures. Make them happy and cheer this little fella up. We'll read them out after brand new skit with Hacker T-Dog. But no lamb. Digby, Digby, are you listening to me? Just, just five more minutes. Digby! You said five more minutes. Digby, that was 12 hours ago. I just need to finish this level. It's a game for three to five year olds. You've been on level one for over 10 days. Yes, but I had the screen the wrong way up for eight of them, so it's actually only two. Well, I'm about to show you my next amazing trick. <laughs> It's not Hacker anymore. It's the amazing Hackeraza, the most incredible amateur magician in all of Pilbury. The only amateur magician in all of Pilbury, thank goodness. Now, before your very eyes, I will make this pork pie completely disappear. I simply cover it with a magic handkerchief. Right, right, right. And we both close our eyes and say, Meaty, matey, moo! And it's completely vanished! Yes, gone! Wow, it really worked. I must be getting good at this. <laughs> Oi! It's a very good trick. Now give me a teaspoon for my next trick. I will make it stick to your forehead. There aren't any. There are loads of... Oh, I don't believe it. You've not washed up for the last month. I've been busy with this game. You are the least active person I've ever met. I'm the only dog in Pilbury who never has walkies. When you saw that flyer for the Pilbury farm run, you ought to have a lie down and a little cry. <sighs> Didn't you? And all you do is play on that computer. What do you mean, I go to work, don't I? Hello? Digworth! You've not been in the office for two weeks! Have you missed me? Shut up! Now! You may have heard that the editor of our arrival paper, the Gilbury Gazette, has put all the clocks in their office forward by one hour to keep them ahead of the game. Good idea. Yeah, well, not as good as mine. I've gone one better and put hours forward by an entire day. <laughs> now, that's initiative. I expect you in the office in ten minutes to present your next story idea. On your watch or my watch? Pardon? What all this clock changing? Does that mean you want me to come tomorrow? Or today? Or should I have come yesterday? Come now, you idiot! And this story better be amazing! <laughs> what am I going to do? I need something to write about. Digby, what have we just been talking about? The answer's right in front of you. The amazing yes, hacker... the amazing Pilbury fun run! Brilliant idea! Max will love this! Then all I have to do is sit there watching the joggers go by. Come on, we've got ten minutes to pitch this idea, otherwise we'll be writing the horoscopes for the next year. Not the fun run, the greatest magician in town! Give it up, Hacker. You're making yourself look stupid. And if there's one thing I can't stand, it's people looking stupid. <laughs> That 
doesn't sound good. Hacker, I know about cars, right? It may look a bit shabby, but the one thing this little beauty is not going to do is break down. Right. The engine's in the back in this car. Ha <laughs> ha! Not anymore. I swapped it. Oh. Budges. Hey! I'm just going to get a paper. You're a reporter, in a way. You never read a paper. Dick B. Dick B. Go, go, go! You're the driver. sort of breath. It's the fifth floor. Why didn't you use the lift? I did take the lift. But never mind that. Uh, have you got a story for me? Have I got a story for you? That's why I just asked you. Well, the answer's yes. I'm going to do the Pilbury Fun Run. Oh, God. Grief, man! All right, I'm sorry I'll come up with someone else. That's brilliant! What? You mean you like it? Oh, I love it. Oh, oh, oh that's, a, that's a real scoop! Did you hear that, Hacker? A real scoop, eh? Finally, I'm getting the respect I deserve. <laughs> now listen, are you sure you want to do this? Well, yeah. <laughs> Clarabel, send a memo out to everyone in the office. Uh, the fun run starts in two hours and Digby is going to run it for us. <laughs> and then he's going to report on his sporting experiences in the newspaper tomorrow. <laughs> But I can't. Where to get started? Mmm, I like where you're coming from. No, I don't want to... Hog the limelight? Come on, don't be modest, be proud. But, sir, I don't want to run the fun run. You want to win the fun run. Atta boy! <laughs> Let me explain to you why this means so much to us. One year ago, we sent a reporter to take part in the fun run. Our best man, Bob Bobson. <laughs> he ran his little heart out for the Pilbury Post. But little did we know, our hated rivals, the Gilbury Gazette, had entered a runner too. That guy was fast. Real fast. So fast he won the race and broke the course record. They'll never let us forget it. We need you to break the course record. Do it for me. Do it for the Pilbury Post. Do it for the memory of Bob Bobson. You mean... he died? No, I sacked him. Man couldn't run. He was a waste of space. Now listen, if you break that record, it's front page news. All right, the race starts in two hours. We need to find a way to convince Max that I can't do it. But you can do it. It's not as if you're injured or anything. That's it. Bite me. That's not very nice. If you take a chunk out of my leg, I won't have to do the race. Oh, no, I don't bite people. I'd have to be so, so angry to do anything like that. Really? <laughs> oh, dear me, this is all right, isn't it, eh? Mm. We put it in, you know, and Eating these spicy Italian meatballs that Hacker brought in for his lunch. Mmm. Oh, I dread to think what Hacker will do when he finds out I've stolen his food. He'd probably be really, really angry and bite me. 
I'm not angry. Why? I've just eaten your pizza. And they're not meatballs. What are they? Dog food. Well, that's that then, isn't it? There's no getting out of this one. Are you sure you won't change your mind and run with me? Oh, I've got no trainers. And my feet will be cut to ribbons. Fair enough. Wait. Cut to ribbons. Let me get this straight. You muddled up your washing machine with your lawnmower. And now your sports kit's been cut into hundreds of pieces. I'm afraid so. But look on the bright side. Me dishes won't need mowing for a while. Why didn't you just borrow somebody else's kit? Because, um, no one has any. I checked with all the guys. You only check with the guys? Well, yeah. Clarabelle, get me Big Bertha. Come on, Digby. What do you say? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Not at all, although it's not me you should be thanking. It's Big Bertha. Uh, she's a very generous woman. Sweaty, but generous. <laughs> now listen, I want you to crush this record. <laughs> it's going to be a great story. Will you be mad if I don't manage it? Of course not. How do you mean that? Of course not. Wait, how about we can wish you luck with one of my amazing magic tricks? Oh, for the last time, hacker. What? You can do magic? Yeah. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place, man? Dog. Dog. Now, I'm going to wave my magic wand, say my magic rhyme, and all of a sudden, the two of you will be free! <clears throat> Stuck together by a magic force, I set them free without even using a horse! <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> Stuck together by a magic force! I set them free without even using a horse. Nah, nah, nah. Nah. No budges. What? Yes, yes. We're stuck in handcuffs. Uh, uh, I know it's not a fire. The fire brigade doesn't just do fires, does it? I, I mean, if it was a fire and getting people out of handcuffs brigade, well then I'd. Hello? Hello? Oh. No joy. She said they couldn't get here for six hours. Then she hung up. Come on, hacker, come on! You've got to remember how to do it. You said the clue's in the rhyme, huh? It tells you how to do the trick. Now, you deliberately put it in in case you forgot. But now, I can remember the rhyme, but not what the clue means. No! I'll never be able to break that record now! Oh. Don't you worry, Digby. I know how much that run means to you. If Hacker and the Fire Brigade can't free us, I'll do it myself. Go on, uh, hold on a minute. Uh, uh, no. Just, uh, just uh, uh, get off the thing and then I'll... You were right, Digby. Huh? You're not going to do the fun run after all. Really? Yeah. You're not doing it. We are. This is ridiculous. We can't run ten kilometres like this. We can and we will. I know what it means to you to break that record for the Pilbury Post, and I'd be blown if I'm going to be the one to stop it. Come on. Just what are they doing? Ooh, I'll, I'll get him first. Oh, oh, oh! No, no, no! You budge over. Go we'll swap when I get it. Go on. Ooh. That's it. Die. Uh. Yep. Uh, I've got it. Huh? That way. Come on, Dibby. 
Watch the gay stick. Oh. That's it. Oh. Oh. Come on, hacker. Hacker. Are we there yet? You just try and remember how to open these cuffs. Hang on. It's telling me I need to find a horse magician to set you free. A horse magician? And you don't think that maybe horse is only in there because you couldn't think of anything else that rhymed with force? Oh, yeah. Start the engine. Are we there yet? Where is everyone? The race started 20 minutes ago. You have to catch him up. Come on, get out, man. The lock. Oh, oh dear. The sunroof. Oh, stop. No, stop, stop. Oh. Oh. I know. The windows. Oh, yes. Yes. Push me! No, please, please, push me! Now you must. Oh, well. I guess I'll just have to do the race next year instead. If you want Digby to break this record, if there's one thing you could try. Is that? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> what is? Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I, I, I'm not fit enough for this. I'm going to die. I'll never make it to the end. I'm so tired. Wait a minute, am I? Actually, I'm all right. I don't feel tired. I feel fine. Maybe I like running and I've just never given it a proper try. This is great. Look at me, guys. Look, I can run. <laughs> I can run. <laughs> We're almost there. But I'm connected to a stationary car. We're ahead of record schedule, huh? All you have to do is cross that line and victory is mine! Yours? <laughs> Ours. Mine? Ours. Come on, Furball. Worry about that magic trick. I'm trying. And don't talk to me like that. Like what? Like I'm some kind of animal. You are. You're a dog. Good point. There's nothing for it to dig with. I'm going to take the handbrake off, and all you have to do is pull us across that line. I can't do that. Yes, you can. All you need is some motivation. Come on! Push! Push! Arriba! Arriba! I don't know where that means. Go. Come on! Come on! Oh, no, no. It's no good. It's no good. I have to come up with another plan. I know. I'll make the car less heavy. Of course! Yes. But they're my emergency treats! Come on! Done! Any better? <laughs> no! I can't even go home. Thanks to Magic Mutt here, we're locked together. Ooh, all the people to be stuck to. I mean, no offence. You don't exactly have a magnetic personality, Digworth. Hmm? Say that again. Digworth. 
No, back a bit. Defence. Forward a bit. Personality. Back a bit. Exactly. Forward a bit. Have a... No, you said magnetic. Did I? Yeah. So why do you want me to say it again? That's it. That's a trick. The magic force I mentioned in the rhyme. It means the force of magnetism. I just need to wave a magnet over the handcuffs and the lock should open. <laughs> Give it here. Yeah. We did it! We did it! <laughs> Come on, run, Digby, run. You can do it. No energy left. Uh, this is useless. I blame myself. Although, obviously, I'll sack him. Wait. If the magnet worked on the locks of the handcuffs, I wonder it might also work on the door. We did it! We did it! <laughs> Give me a hand, Digby. Come on. There's still time. Come on, big fella. No. Here we go. Come no, on. No, no, no. You can do this. Leave me alone. You can do it. I, I believe in you. Come on! I don't want to! I believe in you, Digby! I don't believe in you! Move it, big fella! No! Come on, come on. No! What are you doing? No! I don't want to! What? <laughs> no! Come on, Digby! Uh, you can do it! Hang on! Come on, big fella! I don't want to! No! Oh. 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 Come on! In your face, losers! <laughs> the Pilbury Post has broken your record. And once again, we have champion Murphy. And we we'll keep, keep on fighting, fighting till the till end. end. We are the champions. We are the champions. <laughs> what? Yeah, what? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. Fun run tomorrow. But why? How? Somebody changed all the calendars in the office, remember? So we're always a day ahead of our rivals. Oh, yeah. But I can't... Don't you worry about it. I... I'll see you at the start line. And remember, I want that record broken. <laughs> I can't. I really can't. Ah, oh, just get a good night's sleep, eat your spinach, you'll be fine. Now. I'm going to call you a cab. I can't... I'm going to call you a cab. 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 No, you're right. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Because I can do this. I can do this! No need to shout. I'm only standing here. Digby managed to pull it off! <laughs> Ooh, this could really shut those twerps at the Gilbreaker set up. Digby breaks record. Yes! <laughs> but only because he secretly takes a cab. The little cheat took a cab. Digby! Digby! To non-stop summer at the CBBC office with the lovely Lady London. Hey! And me. Uh, Tracy, we can return this up in just a moment, but first, we're trying to cheer up Krabby Crab. I am not <coughs> miserable, Chris. I'm just never amused unless it's lamb. A cheeky leg of lamb almost amuses me, <laughs> but not quite. Okay. 
Well, let's see if your emails amuse him. It's not lamb, it's emails. Take a look at this picture, Grabby, look. It's a picture of Amy, Dan, Josh and their mum eating ice cream. And they say, we love the summer holidays because you can play games, go on trips and watch more CBBC. That does look like fun. And a big family like that's great. But the downside is, <laughs> you've got to share out your lamb. Right, Ashley, hey Ashley. Ashley sent in this pic. It's a pic of Ashley's hamster Nibbles, who's having a staring contest with you, mate. Oh, look at his little face. Now, hamsters are great, Chris, because they store all the food in facial <laughs> pouches. Now, I wish I could store lots of lamb in my facial pouch. Oh, dear me. Um, Millie says, if everyone is looking in Crab's rock pool, then Crab is kind of famous. He should be very proud of himself. Go Crab, go Crab. From Millie, Crab's number one fan. Look, Crab, you've got fans now. Mm. Cheer up, mate. It's great having fans, and thanks for all your input. But if you were proper fans, you'd give me lots oh, of... Don't you mention it. Don't, don't you mention it. it. All right, I won't mention it, Chris. I'll think it. <laughs> Lamb. <laughs> Dear. Ellie, hey Ellie. Ellie's emailed in saying holidays are great and you're so lucky because not everyone has a rock pool. Good point, Ellie. Yep. Plus, my dad's a butcher, so he owns lots <laughs> ah. and lots. Oh, lamb. Now you're saying it. They're saying it now. I love that, having a butcher shop full of lamb. It's like having a lamb warehouse with <laughs> lamb. <laughs>